Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, this is an interview with artists, like series. This is number four part. And today we will together with Wamu. Thank you for coming today, Wamu. When I first time see his artwork, like a lot of amount of like rich art, like Instagram videos there, and they are mixed with the, my like real favorite, like children food, uh, the like GameStop things, a lot of there, like Mega Man, Zelda, and like of course Pokemon, like nostalgic game stuff there, and also like cool hip hop sound, and like suddenly people just like appear and like disappear like with the cool glitch effect. They wow, this is like he he must be like connect with must in this genre or something in a way. So I just contact him and he just answered really quickly, like, yeah, yeah let's do something next week. And like, uh, we did a collaboration, like NFT show with the, uh, like a Space 717 gallery, like in this week here. My name's Hua Mu. Um, I got into video kind of by accident. Um, I was working on an album and I was just promoting it and like emailing people and then this one PR agency was kind of like hey we love to do something with this but the project's four months old do you have like a video for one of the songs or something and I was like yes yes I do I didn't so I just made something overnight and um, that ended up being a lot more fun than making music so I just started like making my own little videos from that and so ever since then anything that I did musically had to have some kind of visual component to it and then the last year or so it kind of just flipped and now i do more video than music mm. but those two things are always married together mm. so um it's very rare that you see a video of mine without any music happening and if there is music playing i probably had some hand in making it mm. i'm gonna see your instagram right now let's start how about the like street fighter i the song i came up with the song first mm. um, and i i i had this job where i worked in the mail room and i worked with this uh this lady the spanish lady and she asked me what the word for snail was in spanish and i was i was like caracol and oh, right, right, right. i read the word and the word just got stuck in my head <laughs> well, could you tell me again what is that Caracol is the word for oh, snail. Oh, all right, got it. Caracol, I didn't know. All right. I would just be like, Caracol, Caracol. There's something to this. There's that something crazy. to this. Sounds crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so I came up with this song and I essentially told the story like, yeah, the snail's slow, but he's smooth. And then, you know, um, like, watch out for him or he'll sneak up on you. And. <laughs> So I came up with the song, and then when it came for the idea of the video, I decided to like kind of stick it with the theme of like my last video with the video game. It's like, how do I link video games mm. with this song about a snail? And, um, and so I had the idea that like, you know, Street Fighter was one of my favorite video games growing up. I'm like really well, was really obsessed with it as a kid, and so I was like. By the way, who is uh, your most favorite character? Who is it? Um, I like Chung Li. Because oh, like I, I like charge characters, I like to move back a lot. Um Ryu and Ken, they're pretty fun too, but Chung Li is probably the, like my favorite to play with. Um and like through my years of music, I had a lot of connections with like people who were dancers and people who, you know, generally like to get in front of the camera. So I was like, I'm gonna find two people to play Chung Li and Cammy. And the moment I posted an advertisement on Instagram, right away I got responses. Oh. So that's how that came about. The Chun Li and the uh, and the cat and the Street Fighter. That's how that came about. Oh. And then I got to put in my own style into it. But yeah, that's the long answer to that question. <laughs> Every like this glitch effect is yeah. uh, you made it. The editing's all me. I do all the editing. So the glitch effect, that's me. Uh, the collage stuff, that's me. Wow. Um, it's just before it gets to my uh, editing uh, console, like I, I need as much help as I can get so that everything is exactly how I want it mm. when it gets to the editing table. But once 
everything is is on Final Cut Pro. I'm doing everything special effects on it. Only Final Cut Pro you're yeah. using? Only one software? Yeah. Not not other software like After no. Effects? No. Final Cut Pro. Really? I, I'm very careful with it. Um, like if you see my project files, it's it's like you'll see like 500 video clips in like a two minute clip. Oh, and it's really? Oh. Yeah. And it make really precise cuts. So like I'll zoom in all the way in and make like really tiny cuts to oh. make like a screen capture record from the YouTube or like internet video stuff. Yeah. So when I'm editing, like I'll use the footage that was shot, and then I'll go on YouTube. Uh, I'll try to find clips that are related to it, or, or I'll record my own gameplay. I'll play the game myself mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so I can mm -hmm. get the right kind of footage I want. And combined with the YouTube clips, and sometimes it, there'll be clips from my phone that I record out in the street or whatever, and mm -hmm. I'll put that in there. Um, I do a lot of chroma keys in, in, to, to, to kind of stitch it all together. Um, so it's really a lot of moving pieces. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Really, like uh, a yeah. personal question. Why is there vegetables there? Like, I, vegetables? Yeah, I saw like a lot of carrots. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There are vegetables there. For the, the, there. For the yeah. Video? yeah. Uh, I mean, that's for the line, because like, there's a line where the, the snail says, I'm going to eat all, all your tomatoes and your carrots. So I, I wanted to put them in there so yeah. that you could see the snail like, all right, I'm gonna eat your shit, you know. <laughs> okay. Like so, like this, this is inside, like a kind of like sexy kind of content. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of, course, <laughs> of course, why not? Like truly and Cam is there, of course. Every boy's <laughs> dreams, of of course. <laughs> yeah, the, the crazier the better. The, All right, more the better. better. Yeah. Uh, how about this Zelda, the Legend of the Zelda, the Link? How you come to make this video? Um. So the, the concept of the video, uh, which I shot with my friend Oli Corchado and Dylan Amick, um, the point of the video was kind of like a lazy night out with friends. And so like, we went out to a gas station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just know that the gas station, like going, like skateboarding out in the street and like going in the, uh, the, the store, the convenience store and like buying snacks and stuff. And I wanted to make that experience, like doing nothing, feel bigger than life. Uh, and so Legend of Zelda kind of made sense into that, to make it seem like, a, like going to the gas station was one big adventure. Um, and so I combined clips from like three Zelda games, Link's Awakening, um, Ocarina of Time, and uh, Breath of the Wild kind of chroma keyed it into like what was going on in, in in the gas station to make it seem like you know like a lazy night out with friends it felt like the way it did when like in high school when like everything just felt like big like a big deal you know like mm -hmm. you know um the world just felt a lot bigger well, let's see the the pikachu's one well i had an older sister and um when we were little it we used to fight over who gets to play the video game sometimes. Like, it's my turn. No, it's my turn, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we decided to come up with a video where, like, that would happen. And and so the story is, like, the older siblings hogging the game, but she plays it so much she falls asleep. And then, like, the dancing Pikachu comes when she's dreaming. <laughs> she's still asleep. And so, like, the, the little sibling takes the video game away from her, but she's still... And it's supposed to be, like, a dream, so, like... With mm. a lot of dreams. Of course, like a dream. It's like a lot of the times, like I'll dream about something and then things unrelated to what I'm dreaming about, about show up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, like, I was just trying to like show how like dreams pop up, like, for me in that clip. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So sometimes it's just random or like it's funny, but like there's, there's, a, there's a reason for it, you know? Mm -hmm. It just doesn't belong there, but it also fits, you know? When I like to use glitches, I like to express maybe. Not like extreme emotion, but like emotions being processed. That's when I like to use glitches. Mm -hmm. um, and so, like whenever 
So I, I like to use a lot of narratives in my video. I like to tell a story. And whenever I want to push the story along to like the next chapter, I'll use glitches a lot. Or whenever like, you know, the, the character in the story I'm trying to tell is, you know, finding finding themselves or is resolving a problem, that's when I start using glitches. Because mm -hmm. like they're changing. Like glitches, like even when they happen by mistake in the game, you notice it and it changes the game. Mm -hmm. um, and so I only like to use glitches when like there's a change happening in what I'm doing. Your NFT show artwork, the Harlem. That's, this is the first song that I ever recorded with my own voice. Um, my friend uh, Ayo Nels, a uh, music producer, he made the beat. Um, and I recorded this song. Um, I've always wanted to make a rap song. Um, and it was like my first time doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, the song about gentrification is about like, because I grew up in Uptown Manhattan. I grew up in Harlem and Washington Heights. Mm -hmm. I saw the neighborhood change really fast. And when I first started looking for a job after university, um, it was really hard and I it feel like I couldn't afford to live in the neighborhood I grew up in. Mm -hmm. And so that's where like the emotion behind the song is. And when I went to record it, like I listened to the beat and I was like, I wrote a whole verse and everything. I'm like, this has too many words. So I just wrapped the word Harlem over and over and over again. Uh, almost like to an annoying degree. <laughs> and <laughs> and when it came to time to shoot the video, I, I did it with my friend Oli Corchado. And he came up with a story about uh, like, whatever we shoot like a video that was like BuzzFeed, like you never seen those BuzzFeed videos, like let's try this food for the first time. Or right. um, And so we did that like, yeah, so like BuzzFeed does all these videos where like, uh, what do you call it? These guys try New York food for the first time. And so we wanted to do our own version of that. And we did it with uh, the chopped cheese, which is like this bodega sandwich that you can get at the bodega. And we just had like two of the whitest people we could find, and two of his friends. Uh, and they just decided to eat it in, in front of a green screen. Today we have uh, one more this interview series. Thank you for everyone for watching. Thank you, man.